Ecosystem is a great journey. In fact, it started in 2009. We created a fund called Danone Ecosystem Fund. And the, the goal is to strengthen our ecosystem from an economic and social standpoint. What do we call our ecosystem? It's all the little companies and people who work with, for and by Danone every day. Uh, they can be farmers producing our milk or fruit. Uh, they can be little company with uh, of distribution, micro distribution. Uh, they can be people uh, uh, driving the trucks to bring our products to the supermarket. A lot of people, in fact, around Danone work with and for Danone. And the idea is that in an uncertain time from an economic standpoint, it's important to reinforce them to help them and their employees to grow from a sustainable manner. It's the long-term interest also of Danone. So with this idea, we decided to fund some uh, very exceptional initiatives coming from the bottom, coming from the countries, coming from our businesses, working with NGOs to reinforce this ecosystem. After two years and a half, we have already 40 living projects in 20 countries. So very, very strong start. The first thing is changing in the way you look and we look uh, at our business from a social perspective and from a business perspective. From a social perspective, in fact, it's what we call the social footprint. Because of this journey, we realize, realize more than, in fact, we impacting um, a lot of people uh, positively. For instance, do you know that 40,000 farmers in the world work only for Danone for, to produce the best quality of milk every day? When you look at that, um, it gives a responsibility and a different way of bonding with people who work with us. So we started to measure and measuring changed your way of looking and thinking. And in uh, many countries now, they measure what we call our social footprint. Usually there are between two or five people full-time living uh, from what they do with Danone, on top of one being what we call a Danoner, meaning an employee of Danone. So when you look at that, it's also a huge asset of competencies and engagement if we really bond with them in a positive manner. The second thing has changed is the way to look at business. For instance, with the farmers, uh, before we were buying milk on the quality and cost mainly. Now we have a much more 360 degrees view, including agriculture. And we are with our partners in agriculture, with the farmers, we are thinking which kind of feeding for uh, the cows will bring which value from an ecological standpoint or nutrition standpoint. Which are they earning? Can we help them to be more efficient, to have better earning? And very often it's uh, little farms, very little farms with very few cows. So it's the, the economic and social impact is much more important. For HR, how do they help in a distribution or in a agriculture or in partnership with all their partners to help the little company who work with us to be stronger when they recruit, when they train. So for them also it's a change. Um, marketing, how do value, uh, for instance, in Les de nos éleveurs, uh, milk of our producers, which started in France and is going to be in many countries, we relate and we link the farmers and the consumers. And in fact, it has a huge value for the consumer to know that it's really fresh milk and only fresh milk with, with real farmers <laughs> close to the place where they buy their yogurts and where the factory process it. So to bond consumer and producer, it's an ecosystem way of thinking business model and value chain end to end. The change uh, which is important is in the innovation mindset through ecosystem projects it's clear that we can create only with others. We are totally unable to do this project without NGOs and partners. Uh, we have uh, now 40 
um, very strong NGO uh, which are partnering long term with us. Uh, Care, Gain, Hyper, a lot are very well known and we co-learn working together. Another transformation for Danone is the it, it reinforces even more the engagement of Danoners, of uh, the employees of Danone. Uh, when you go and very often uh, me and my team we go uh, to visit the projects, the level of engagement, the new competencies, the people who are going to learn uh, by uh, working on a project or a mission, it's amazing. And last but not least, I would say it was not a goal, but an effect. The extraordinary appealing um, effect on uh, attracting especially young generations. Many young people want at the same time to aim the excellence in business and the meaning in society.